Hey everybody, this is a super fun right here with my first ever Let's Play of Pikmin 2. Alright, so let's get straight into this. Yeah, I've, uh, <clears throat> have been on a nostalgia with this game. Uh, I've been it 100% twice, even being all the challenge mode uh, levels before. Um, and yeah, so... This is my first Let's Play, so be ready for cringe! Joyce Day, Kalu, fucking Ray. Alright, so just create save data, whatever. By the way, if you haven't caught on already, this is the Wii version. And also, since I live in the UK, this is also the PAL version of the game. So there might be a few differences you may notice if you live in the Americas. Anyway, time to s sorry. So I'll be quiet. Jesus Christ! Unfortunately, they couldn't save him in time, so he died. <laughs> Oh, we're in Star Fox now. Oh, hello there, boy! Chris. Yeah, Planet Hokate, aka Double Sun. You know, I know um, the uh, Pikmin planet uh, is a bit like poisonous, but like, it's gotta be better than this barren wasteland. Oh, I love the uh, president's voice here. It's just brilliant. Just just watch his mating accent and Louis looking at a bird, apparently. I don't know. I, th I think Louis zoned out. Oh, here he is with his amazing dance. Yes, <laughs> brilliant language here. Oh, gee, thanks, bro. We just spent like less. We had less than thirty days to rebuild that, and then you just sell it without like our cooperation. Oh, and even then you're still in debt. God's sake, you're useless. So, Oi, what the fuck do you think you're doing, mate? Oh, bird. Hmm? Oh, God, this twat. Yeah, I, I hate the ship in this game. Wow! So brilliant. This, this is truly compelling gameplay here, mates. It, uh, Jesus Christ, why are his eyes so big? Yay, space! Yay, back to the place we almost died on and didn't even get to see our family after we just escaped. Thanks, Mr. President Man. If that even is your name. Don't think that me. Don't think I don't know your dirty secrets, boy. But anyway, yeah, we're back to the uh, planet. Wait, can we actually be back to the planet if I haven't played Pim in one on me? Ah, Yay, Louis dies! Never liked him. He was always a... 
I don't know what it was wrong about, but he just pissed me off. Yes, come out. He's doing roly polies. Anyway, I hope you're ready for tutorials because there are a lot on these first few days. Unfortunately. Whatever, shut up. Uh, I, I, I get it. We can't find Louie. Uh, wait, look. Oh, look, it, it's Pikeman. I'm so surprised, even though I've played this game multiple times, to know this would happen. Uh, yeah, anyway, you call them with your whistle pointing at them and pressing B. Now, that's a red dwarf bulbul. Pretty much, you cannot lose this fight. It, it, it's, it's physically impossible by the game's coding. It, it, is that even the correct term? I, do, I, do, I don't care. Right? So, whatever. Anyway, time to kill. Time to kill this fuckboy. He died in one hit. What was your guy's struggle? Were you really doing that bad until I got here? God's sake, these guys suck. Anyway, what do you want? Yes, you found Louie, great. Press minus to find him. Shut up! Louis. Yeah, that's the uh, main gimmick of this game. You have two captains. Um, anyway, here's Louie. If that's even... Yeah, I think, like, these guys are supposed... To, their names are loosely based on, like, Mario. Because, I mean, like... Olimar's Japanese name is Orima, which is an anagram of Mario, and then Louis's name is very close to the name Luigi. So we shall Mario and Luigi if they were space people. Oh, uh, look, look, it, 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 it's a uh, Shrek joke here. I can't think of one. Um, I, I know there's a joke here. Um, Oh, those eyes. So, your soul will be destroyed by Louis. He will eat you whole. Anyway, uh, let's plug this thing. Why are we getting played a cutscene of a zoom of uh, this guy now when we just had five of them rescued from a, uh, yeah, from that monster? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, we already know this. Oh, and also you can proceed to disband them, whatever. Uh, oh. Run, boy, run. Run, boy, run. The fuck? Anyway, um, so yeah. Pretty much what you want to do, you're going to try and, uh, you've got to get like, fifth, you have to try and get all these pellets down. Uh, these are pellets, by the way. Um, they have a number on them, which is how many pitmen are required to carry it. Uh, and pretty much, uh, based on their colour, it will give you a bonus if you give them to the right colour pitmen. They're red, yellow and blue. Uh, obviously, red, yellow and blue pitmen. Um... Yeah. Anyway, that's saying you can like pluck multiple people Pikmin at the same time if like you press A multiple times. Now, what I want to know is like, what would this game be like if Louie actually died from that impact? Like, he's just falling down and it's just like, <laughs> like, like Louie, Louis, Louis straight up dead. <laughs> like, he tried changing to him and he doesn't get up. And like, it turns into like a waggle game where you have to waggle the Wii remote to try and wake him up and he never gets up. And that's just like the whole game. And then like, you have to go back and endure like, the death. Just because Olimar couldn't see what he was doing. That would make for like, a lot, a lot darker. But maybe a lot more fun game for some people. But, yeah. You know, because there are still those people who find your general need to be hardcore max. Anyway, so like, plug all these guys. Go over here with your waggle arms. Seriously, why does he walk like that? Oh, yay, product placement. How many people have made that joke when playing this game? Probably all of them. 
Uh, yes, yes, it's treasure, fascinating. Uh, yeah, that's telling you how to control the camera, but we don't need to change it. Anyway, you come over here. Uh, throw your pitman on him. Uh, then get Olimar, throw his pitman up here. Uh, back to flights, and then back together like a good old homies. Yeah, it's celebration times. Oh, we're getting a car. Yes, thank you. More tutorials. Thank you. Thank you for teaching us things we already know. Anyway, so like, what do you want to do now? You want to get this thing back to the onion. Uh, yeah, so these guys are going to carry it back. Uh, what I'm going to do now is separate these guys. Luya is going to take this Pikmin squad. Anyway, you see this bag? Yeah, you can't get over it just yet because we need 35 Pikmin. Uh, so what you want to do, you're going to go over here. Now, you'll get... Now, get these Pikmin to start digging up this treasure. Uh, and then we'll get the other guy to follow the Pikmin with the ball. Uh, so, we're just gonna wait the onion for this to be done. So, like, so, like, how's your day going? You guys done? Yeah, look, you see, it takes 20 Pikmin to carry out, we don't have enough yet. So we're gonna have to wait. So call these guys back. Also, you may notice these guys are different whistles. Louis has a train whistle, and Olimar has a normal whistle. Yeah, it's just those subtle different, uh, like the those are uh, little subtle uh, things I like about. Uh, this franchise just like just like the little soul things all the references that's why I like this game so much it it just hits you like right there you like like even though even if you don't like this kind of game like the kind of game it is you can still appreciate it for what it is and what it does like I I, I like, I'm gonna say, this is probably one of my favourite Nintendo franchises, like, it's up there, with me, it's up there with Mario, Smash Bros and Kirby. Um, but anyway, now we have to wait for these guys to carry the back from all the way over here. Oh shit! Anyway, we're gonna do the spinny dance. Oh, let's go exploring, what's up here? I can't! Great, I'm on the first episode and we've already walked into a wall. Brilliant. Anyway, we we'll go down the slippy side. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, not in this area, but as we continue, you'll notice some similarities between uh, the levels of this game and levels of Pikmin 1. You'll see what I mean when we get when we get into it later on. But here we go, here's our uh, first treasure. Um, yeah, we're here, the Courage Reactor worth 208 Pokemons. In fact, like, right next to me, I have this whole book of, ev of like, every single trophy, trophy? Every single uh, treasure in the game. And, if, uh, and at the end of each episode, I was like, had a picture at the end of each of the treasures we got and all the information about them like for when for if any of you guys start playing this game because I recommend you do it's a really good game even if it has to be like the GameCube version it's still good all right shut up right whatever, whatever I don't care just be quiet anyway uh, but yeah here we go we've got to go now uh, and here's the end of the day cutscene that we'll play, well, at the end of the day. Uh, also, aside, aside from the first day, there is a limited amount of time you can spend on each day. 
It's just that in every game on the first day you have an unlimited amount of time and on the other one it's limited. But in this game, once you start getting to the caves that we'll see on later, uh, for some reason time stops when you go underground. Like, a monster could be chasing you, you go underground and they just, they just freeze in place. It, it, it's really weird. I, I, I get that like, it's to make it easier, but it's still like Nintendo logic. Gee, Nintendo logic in the Nintendo game. I wonder why. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got 208 Pokos out of 10,000. Uh, well, Pikmin population went up by uh, 20, and we got 20 p red Pikmin. Yeah, male. Okay, let's uh, try and do the president's voice. Uh, prepare for cringe, everyone. Hopefully, I end up on the next episode of Leafy is here, or uh, Pyro Cynical. Either one of those videos. Good. <coughs> you found your first bit of treasure. Find the work of future dependence on your efforts. So check out treasure hoard regularly. Or check out. You often give up the pace. Oh, I'm Mickey Mouse. Ho oh. ho. Why did I do a Mickey Mouse voice? Let's say I'm stupid. Um, uh, also, while we're here, you have the uh, Piclopedia, which gives you information about all the creatures, their treasure value, how many Pikmin you've lost to them, and how many times you've defeated this particular enemy. And the Treasure Hoard, which shows the treasure, its name, how many Pocos it's worth, and how much it weighs. And you'll notice that, like, with the treasure hoard, there's A to look at it and chopstick, look around. Um, then you can press plus to get Olimar's journal, which is Olimar describing about when they found the treasure and information about it. Um, whilst with these enemies, you press A to throw pick, pick carrots. Uh, and then you press plus to have Olimar do like scientific research upon the enemy. Uh, there are other stuff you can get for these, but we'll unlock those later. Um, but for now, that's really all you can do. Um, but yeah, I think I'll end this, epi end this episode off now. So, next time on Pikmin 2, we're going to be going back to the Valley of Repose and going into our first cave. <laughs>